we're currently in Priscilla. This is the Dodge Challenger that you might remember from previous episodes of Rides Down Under Workshop Wars, where Shane took her for a drive and explained and ran through the Hearst Lightning Rods that this car's got in it. Now, we originally got this car and were tasked with making it go a bit better and we ended up rebuilding the 440 big block Mopar motor that's in this. So the clients come back for a little bit of further work. This car had your traditional holly on it. Now we've taken this off and they work just fine but we've updated it and made it a little bit more modern and popped on a Holly Sniper system. So now it's EFI, which makes it easier to drive, easier if you get a bad batch of fuel. It complements the MSD fuel system that we've already got in place really well. Um, there are some modifications you have to make with the Sniper and it is really, really important to follow Holly's directions when you're fitting these snipers. One of those directions is you need to have enough fuel flow to the sniper and you need to have a return line that's big enough. So currently this is now running the VR1 variable holly pump so that we can vary how much fuel is pumping to the sniper. So it sits at about 50% just cruising around but once the throttle goes past a certain point it ramps right up to 100% so that this motor is getting enough fuel at all times. The wiring has been upgraded so that it is not losing voltage because the battery is actually in the boot and we lose about two volts running from the boot to the ignition system and the sniper and the sniper requires 12 volts. If you don't give it 12 volts, it'll start playing up. Um, as far as the fuel lines are concerned, we've upgraded it to one inch stainless steel lines all the way up to the sniper and the same size return line so that it doesn't have any back pressure. So with the sniper, what we've done is we've had to program in so that it can run the variable pump which means you're running an extra line, but I need to program that in traditionally. And every sniper comes with a little wizard that you can set up and program and it will learn because it's quite smart, but we've got it hooked up to the laptop so that I could program in that fuel pump and we can smooth out the fuel curve and we can smooth out the idle curve once it's finished learning and get absolute premium running car. This car now, runs extremely smoothly under everyday cruise conditions and it runs fantastically when you put the boot into it. Just a little quick thing on the gauges here. What you're seeing is you're seeing the coolant temperature sensor on the left top and if you run across you see the RPM, then you've got your air fuel ratio and then you've got your CL comp. So what you're actually seeing is what the ECU in the sniper is doing in order to try and reach the air fuel ratio to get the right air fuel ratio. So if you see it in the negative, it's pulling fuel out and in the positive, it's adding fuel in. And this will continue to change until it's finished learning. If you get a bad batch of fuel or different conditions, the ECU will kick in again and fix this. Down the bottom on the left, you've got your idle air control position. This is mostly, it's like, it's sort of like you choke when the car's cold and once the car starts to warm up, if you suddenly take your foot off the throttle, what kicks in in order to make the fuel ramp down smoothly instead of suddenly cutting off. And then you've got your air temperature, so, and you've got your map sensor, so your mass air pressure, and of course your throttle position sensor. So all of this together combined with fuel map and the idle map or the graph for those that prefer to use the graph make for much, much better, easier tuning. The idle curve and the fuel curve also allows those people that are a little bit more serious about their racing to get in there zoom right in and do micro adjustments so that you get 
100% performance at every stage of your race. So very excited to have the Sniper on. The more we drive it, the more it learns and the better the car gets. Next step with this car is to hook up the NOS. Again, we can control this through the Sniper system that you can see on the laptop.